Hey everyone and welcome to Shorty Street Scandal where each Sunday I share with you my favourite Shortland Street moments of the week. Leanne moment of the week. This week Leanne was at the top of her game everyone but my favourite moment was when she said this. She told me she wanted something more permanent. Well, we're already living together. <laughs> I know that you know. What? That was one of my favourite Leanne lines ever everyone. I love that. But the great Leanne content didn't stop there. Leanne also tried to stop Dallas from proposing to Bella, so she joined in on their private date. Seven at the IV, don't be late. I love an assertive man, don't you? Come on. Well, I think I might join you if you don't mind. <laughs> I hate eating alone. <laughs> Makes me sad. Oh, OK. Then we oh. can order some mains. Well, there's no rush, is there? And Bella might want to use the ladies' room. No. <laughs> you sure? You don't want to touch up your lippy? Do I need to? Dallas proposed anyway, and unfortunately, the proposal was a little bit too similar to the way that Luke, her deceased husband, proposed to her. It was like your dead husband reaching back from the grave. Leanne, that's not what she was going to say. No. Leanne? Everything about the storyline was perfect. I loved it. Long live Leanne, everyone. Unnecessary scene of the week. This week, Evan delivered a baby. Um, he sort of looked like he enjoyed it a little bit too much. Oh, she is definitely pushing. The ambulance is still like 20 minutes away, so do you think you can kind of, you know, you know? He said a lot of strange things like, welcome to the planet. Hey, welcome to the planet. Oh. And this midwife Cooper to you. And then he started flirting. You know, if I just had a baby, I'd be like, nah, you're still hot. <laughs> Oh, you silver tongued devil. Guys, Evan is another one of my favourite characters. I love him. He's just, he's full of shamey moments where he's just sad. His facial expressions are also something to be marvelled at. I love it. I love, I love making fun of Evan. Emotional scene of the week. So this week, Kane became very depressed, which was very emotional, but Evan didn't even seem to care. Oh, your knee's not going to be gammy forever. You can still have a rugby career. You don't know that. No, I don't, but neither do you, so stop being such a sack. A sack? Evan, you don't just call depressed people a sack, it's really rude. So then Kane smashed his guitar, but then Kane was okay, because he got to spray Evan with a water bottle. <laughs> I know if I was depressed, I would probably feel a lot happier spraying Evan with a water bottle. Heartbreaking moment of the week. One of the most devastating moments on Shorten Street this week was when TK had a serious outfit crisis. The only thing I can think of that's sadder than that this week was when Harper was telling a terrible story at Sarah's funeral. I just felt sorry for everyone who had to listen to it. It was snowing, this was in Dunedin years ago, uh, and she had the most appalling sheepskin boots on. Uh, and she bumped into me, quite literally, and spilt boiling hot tomato soup over both of us, and she forgot to apologise. I was very confused. I wasn't sure if we were at Sarah Potts' funeral or Sarah Potts' hater club. And spilt boiling hot tomato soup over both of us, and she forgot to apologise. When I first met Sarah, she spilt soup on me, she didn't apologise, and she was wearing some fugly sheepskin boots. And now she's dead and she's never going to apologise, that stupid bitch. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next Sunday at 5pm for another Shorty Street Scandal. Make sure you go and check out my Facebook page. We're getting, we're getting close, close to, some, to some big milestones. So check out my links below, Twitter, um, Instagram as well. If you want to see some pics of me more. Um, and um, yep, I'll see you next Sunday. Thank you for watching, I really appreciate it. Is it you or is it